The Central Electronic Shop in Woodside, Queens, repairs the out-of-warranty electronic components for the subway cars and buses. Well, we've gone from having roughly 40 people in 1997, roughly repairing 3,000 items a year, to now where we have 212 employees repairing over 7,500 units a year, with an estimated savings in the area of millions of dollars per year. There are several departments that help the process run quickly and smoothly. The Electronics Integration Department confirms that the shop has the tools needed to perform the repairs. And the Quality Control Department ensures that the repairs were done properly. I do quality control on Department of Buses. I just make sure that the signs work properly so the, the bus the, uh, destination is on there, what bus number it is so people know what bus they're catching. With thousands of parts and hundreds of repairs, what challenges do these workers face every day? Uh, New York City is actually on the cutting edge of some of its transit electronics, and that's a challenge into itself, getting everything ready and prepared for use on our fleet. Keeping New York City Transit's fleets working and running ultimately pays off. Basically, to make it quite simple, anything that's electronic, really comes through these doors. We have to ensure that we turn that product around as quickly as possible to, to ensure that our passengers have that service available for them. Here at the electronic shop, not only do they repair equipment, they also build family bonds. Let's go to Maciel Valdez with that story. I'm Pamela Branch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pedro. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Emotions ran high for Pedro Gonzalez, who was honored by his co-workers on his 80th birthday. He has been a part of the transit family for over 28 years and is still going strong. And he's still working. He comes in every day. He's got a wonderful track record of showing up to work, uh, very low on sick days, uh, things like that. So he's a model employee at age 80, and he could still do push-ups. And over the years, he has seen the tools of his trade and technology change. Still, they are coming more brand state of the art uh, tester or equipment to make the the checking of the fixed unit faster and easier. Just push button. And when the time comes to retire, what will Pedro be doing? Well, I will continue traveling with my wife. At the Central Electronic Shop, they're more than just a team doing a job. They're more like a family getting the job done. I'm Masi Valdez for Transit Transit News.